We are going to be converting percents to fractions. Our learning target is I can convert percents into equivalent fractions to show both equal parts to the same whole. So when we convert percents to fractions, we are going to write the percent as a fraction by putting the percent over 100. And then we are going to simplify, if possible, using the greatest common factor. All right, number one, we are going to put 25 over 100. First, I'm going to check, can both the top and bottom be divided by 25? And they can. So this simplifies to one fourth. Number two, 36 over 100. I know that 36 can be divided by four. And I know that 100 can as well. So this is going to be nine over 25. I cannot simplify this anymore, so that is my answer. Fifty-eight over one hundred. I can divide each of these by two. We'll see if we can do it by any more. Twenty-nine over fifty. I cannot simplify this anymore, so that is my answer, 29 fiftieths. Number four, 12 over 100. I know that 12 can be divided by four. So that is three 20 fifths, and I cannot simplify that anymore, so that is my answer. Number five, 110 over 100. So I know this is going to be greater than one because it is over 100%. I can divide each of these by 10. I get 11 over 10, which simplifies to a mixed number one and one tenth. Number six, I'm going to do 45 over 100. I can divide each of these by five, and I get nine twentieths. Number seven, 70 over 100 divided by 10 on the top and bottom, and I get seven tenths. Number eight, 68 one hundredths. I'm going to divide both of these by two. And I get 34 fiftieths. Hmm, I can see that I still can divide these by two because they are even numbers. So this is 17 twenty fifths. So sometimes I may not be able to guess the greatest common factor at first, and that's okay. I can just simplify it even more. Eighty-four over one hundred. I can divide these each by four. Twenty-one fiftieths. Oops, sorry, not fiftieths. Twenty-one twenty-fifths, and I cannot simplify that anymore. Two hundred and thirty percent. So my answer is going to be over one hundred. I can divide each of these by ten. So I get twenty three over ten, and that is going to be two and three tenths.